Hi guys, this is Katish from Spot Home Barcelona. Today I will show you a five bedroom apartment. I will show you one of the bedrooms uh, today in this video and the rest of the apartment. Um, it's an apartment located in Cara de la Ria Alta in the heart of the Raval neighborhood. It's the San Antonio uh, part of this neighborhood. You are right next to the San Antonio market, this beautiful market where you also have the metro station San Antonio and you are in the heart of this neighborhood which is very vibrant. You have many restaurants, many shops, bars, restaurants, everything. You have the Ramblas, the famous Ramblas, which are like 10 minutes away for, uh, walking from there. You're close to Plaza Catalunya. Great neighborhood. Uh, the apartment is pretty large, so there are five uh, bedrooms, two bathrooms, and uh, this living room. There is also a dining room, so it's pretty big. Let me show you the rest of it now. The apartment is at the Entrechuelo floor, which is the first one. You have the entrance of the building just down there, so you have just a few steps to climb up to get to the apartment, which is just here. So, this is the entrance. All right, well, you have the phone for the building and then you have the living room just here. So you have a nice couch, two armchairs, so you can just sit, relax, have a drink, uh, watch the TV, which is just in front. You have a TV stand as well where you can uh, store some DVDs. There is a PlayStation. The window is overlooking uh, the street famous street of the Rava. So on this side we are Car Nure Dulce. So on the other side on the well on the side of Ria Alta. There you have the first bathroom which is actually pretty large. Pretty spacious. You have a bathtub. This is really cool. The bidet, the toilet, a shelf here and here the sink with storage underneath, as you can see. There are drawers and yeah, like small closets. Also here you have more storage. It's like some drawers and shelves. The window is overlooking the street, same as the living room. And behind here you have the laundry room where you will find the washing machine and the dryer. So it's really cool and you have some like a sink if you want to uh, wash your clothes by hand. There is also a window at the back and some shelves here. Okay, let's go back into the living room. So here we have a bedroom which is actually occupied. So I won't be able to show it to you now. Here you have another one. Here you have a closet with some shelves. And then you get into uh, the dining room where you have a table with some chairs and here you have bedroom number three so you make one, two, three and then bedroom number four which is available that you can see today so as you can see it's a double bedroom with a desk behind me is a big closet with four drawers at the bottom so you have bar off with hangers, you have the towels included as well as linen and here the same and the drawer is at the bottom and there is a window and this one is actually overlooking uh, the street on the side Riera Alright, now just in front we have bedroom number five which is actually occupied. Here is like a storage room so uh, this uh, space is shared, you can store some stuff, you can see here there is a bike, you have the iron board, the rack to dry your clothes if you want, don't want to use the dryer, some shelves, here are the cleaning stuff, uh, like the shovel, the mop, here you have some fans and some heating, like some small radiators. So it's a pretty convenient room and then we get into the kitchen so large kitchen fully equipped um, you have everything so you have two things you have the dishwasher uh, you have two boilers the oven the microwaves a big fridge with a freezer underneath and here's the gas stove with the extractor and you probably saw like all the closets around there are many of them here and here 
So you can see I won't open all of them uh, because there are many but you can see there is a lot of storage and you will find everything you need to cook so utensils, pots, pans, glasses, uh, plates, everything. And from there you access to the second bathroom. Uh, which is a bit smaller than the first one. This one has a shower. All right, a mirror on top of an old uh, safe. It's really cool. And then you have the sink with a small closet underneath. The toilet and the window here is actually overlooking the patio. It's like a balcony, but it's inside the building. Uh, we are at the like kind of the ground floor, and so it's open air. So yeah, it's like a balcony inside. All right, guys, this is the end of the visit. I hope you enjoyed it. It was Katie from spoilon.com. Bye.